Hey guys, you're watching the full review of ASUS Zenfone 5 and I'm Gogi from Gogi.10. Zenfone 5 is powered by Intel processor and it is a hot selling smartphone in India available for a price tag of Rs 10,000. This is a dual SIM handset with 3G support. It comes with a 5 inch screen, IPS screen with HD resolution. This handset is with 2GB RAM and 8GB internal storage. Inside the box you will find the handset. It comes with 8MP pixel master camera. The screen is with Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. And the handset runs Android 4.3 with Zen UI. The battery comes built in. You will also find the warranty card, user manual, travel charger, data cable, earphone. This is the call button and the mic. The earplug looks a little weird but it sounds really good. You also get some earplug caps. Here's the handset, the Zen Phone 5. It's plastic body but with metallic finish. Here is the speaker vent, Zen Phone and the Intel logo. Considering the price tag, the build quality and the finishing is excellent. The handset is curvier, as you can see it's more bulky in the center and gets slimmer towards the edges. The power button and the volume rockers are placed on the right side. 3.5mm audio jack is on the top and micro USB port at the bottom. On the rear there is LED flash and 8 megapixel autofocus camera. There are two mics, here is the one and the other on the top. Dual mics for noise cancellation. Three touch sensitive buttons and this is part of the design with circular textures that looks really good. On the top you'll find the sensors, ASU logo, in-call speaker, the LED point and the front camera. Though the handset comes with a non-removable battery, you can remove the back cover. The back cover has got a metallic finish but it's actually made up of plastic. As you can see here, the battery is built in. The battery capacity is 2110mAh and there are dual SIM slots, SIM 1, SIM 2, you need two micro SIMs. This is the micro SD card slot. Handset width with battery is 147 grams, it is 10.24 mm thick, the breadth is 72.83 mm and the length is 148.05 mm. Let's power on this device. It is running Android 4.3 and it will get the KitKat update. This is the lock screen. It is running the ASUS user interface. From the lock screen, you can directly launch any of these applications. Just tap and drag it down anywhere. The color reproduction is very good and so is the performance. Touch is very smooth and responsive. The navigation buttons, they do not light up. The screen is 5 inches with 720p resolution and the viewing angles are pretty good as you can see. This is how the phone dialer looks and you can directly call from any of these sims. I'm currently using just one sim. You also have a voice input option. Here are some of the apps that came pre-installed. There is smart mode. You have flashlight, FM radio, file manager, mirror, party link, PC link, power saver, remote link, setup wizard, splendid, wherein you can change the color temperature. There is also the what's next app which is pretty interesting. This is how the quick options look, there are many options here. There is flashlight, boost mode to free up the RAM and quick links to calculate a quick memo. There is the smart saving mode but I'm going to disable that. You can use the reading mode if you are reading ebooks on the smartphone for easy viewability. Then there is Bluetooth, Miracast that is to connect with wireless display, Wi-Fi Direct, Wi-Fi Hotspot, USB and Bluetooth tethering are supported. The UI comes with a lot of options and if you are not comfortable, you can choose the easy mode option. This is what it does, it makes it even simpler. I'm going to switch off the easy mode. Here are some of the options in display, you can set it up to work with flip cover. 
of the 8 GB internal storage, 4.99 GB is available as you can see here, 4.8 GB for the apps and of the 2 GB RAM you get around 1.4 GB free. There is power management option that will improve the battery performance but for benchmark purpose I am going to switch that off. In ASUS customization settings you will find these options including glove mode. There is built in GPS and here are some of the options for the lock screen. This is how the on-screen keyboard looks. I am trying to download Asphalt 8 as you can see here and it's getting installed on the internal storage. Here is my SD card. As you can see there is no activity and if I move to the internal storage it is increasing which means that the app is getting installed on the internal storage. But the good part is that once the app is installed on the internal storage you can move it to the external storage. As you can see I have already done this for the MC4. The MC4 is now on the external storage. I have installed Asphalt 8 and Real Racing 3 as you can see. Both these apps got installed on the internal storage. And now I am going to move this to the external storage. Asphalt 8 moved and now we will move the Real Racing 3. Both these apps are now installed on the external storage. Let's check out the internal storage and as you can see the free space has increased. I have connected an external pen drive and OTG is supported. I can access the contents of that pen drive. I have now removed the pen drive. This handset is powered by Intel Atom Z2560 CPU clocked at 1.6 GHz. It's dual core but it can perform like a quad core using hyper threading technology. The GPU is PowerVR SGX544 MP. It is using the Clover Tail board running Android 4.3, i686 architecture. Screen is 5 inches supporting 1280 by 720 pixels resolution. Here are the sensors accelerometer, magnetic, light, proximity. The time is 11.49, battery at 83% and the temperature at 37 degrees. Quadrant benchmark score is 9085, Antutu score is 19247, Bilamo, Metal 802, Multi Core 1035, Browser 1694, Ninamark 2 60.4 FPS, and this handset supports 10 point multi touch. Let's check out the camera application. As you can see, it's customized. This is with an autofocus camera. Here are some of the effects. And here are the settings. As you can see, the camera resolution is 6 MP in 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and 8 MP in 4 is to 3 aspect ratio. I'm going to choose that. There are a lot of options as you can see. Anti-shake enhancement. And now we have moved on to the video settings. It can shoot full HD video as you can see. I've already set it to full HD. There is video stabilization option but if you choose that option the resolution will change to HD that's 720p. Here are the different modes. Auto, HDR, Panorama, Low Light, Selfie, Miniature, Smart Remove, Beautification and GIF Animation. Front camera is 2 megapixel and it can shoot videos in HD resolution. As you can see here. I am recording a video and uh, this video got recorded in 1080p resolution at 29 FPS. In low light conditions you will automatically get this low light mode. This is normal mode and when I switch to the low light mode, this is what happens. This is a good option to use in low light conditions.
After 24 minutes, the battery dropped by 9% and the temperature is 40 degrees. Wi-Fi is switched on and I've set the brightness to the maximum. The time is 1.28, battery at 37% and the temperature at 36 degrees. I'm going to run this video shot using the same handset in 1080p resolution in a loop and after 30 minutes the battery dropped by 16% and the temperature is 37 degrees. And now let's check out some games. Modern Combat 4, this game got installed on the internal storage but you can move the game and the data on the external storage. The game plays very smooth as you can see. And now the Asphalt 8, I have set it to the highest visual quality. This game also played very well. And the final game, Real Racing 3. The gameplay is very smooth. I played these games for about 17 minutes. The battery dropped by 13% and the temperature is 42 degrees. The battery has dropped too low and you can see the LED flashing here. The Asus Zenfone 5 is available for a price tag of Rs 10,000. Considering the price, the hardware and the software, this handset is really worth it. The performance is smooth and lag free, however the handset does tend to heat up when hyper threading. The camera quality is very good. Battery backup is average. Zenfone 5 is another handset that is highly recommended and it is getting software updates frequently which is good news. Visit gogi.in to check out sample images and videos shot using this handset.